Okay, um, we have something slightly different today. Um, I'm not planning on, on, you know, taking an aggressively political bent with the channel or anything like that, but this was just too, mm, I don't know, ridiculous, whatever, uh, not to say something about. Uh, Steven Crowder makes racist jokes about Asian reporter is the title of this TYT video. However, as we will see, um, it really should be titled, you know, Jink Uger melts down over Crowder joke or whatever. <laughs> <coughs> oh, damn. I swear to God, it's allergy. I don't know what the fuck this is. I mean, I took an allergy pill. Been a while, but they're supposed to last for 24 hours. Damn it! I don't know. All right, uh, let's go ahead and bump this up to faster and get into it. Oh, are you shitting me? I swear to God, I fucking hate. I fucking hate VLC. Look at that shit. It was on 100 percent. And then I get ready to start the, the fucking video, and it goes to 15. It's like the opposite of what happened last time. You know, I had it at 5, and it shot back up to 70-something. It's like, what the... <laughs> Fix your fucking software, VLC. Jesus. Steve Crowder, who uh, notoriously ran away from a debate <laughs> featuring Sam Cedar on his own show, um, has some okay. thoughts about the... And right away, we have a fucking lie that we have to uh, address. Ran away from a debate with Sam Cedar. No, 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 no. It was, uh, it was, what's his dick from the H3H3 or whatever the fuck that channel's called. I never watched him. Um, was supposed to debate Crowder and decided instead to show up for the debate and then be like, oh, I have a surprise guest to debate you instead of me because I'm too much of a chicken shit to do it. And it's Sam Cedar. And although I'm sure Crowder could have easily, uh, defeated Sam Cedar because Sam Cedar's a fucking moron. Um, also, I hate Sam Cedar's voice. I don't know if it's something th to do with his audio setup or if it's just him. Because it's not just him. It's other people that are on his show with him. Uh, I, I, there's something about their voices that makes me just want to cut their vocal cords or, or crush their throats with my bare hands or something to stop them talking. Because there's just some... It's not... It's you know. I mean, it's not even what they say, which you'd think it would be because they're terrible people who say terrible things. But... There's just something about the quality of their voices that's like, ugh. I just, I can't even identify it. It's just something that, it's, it's not nails on a chalkboard, but it, but it is. Like, the, the effect to me is, is like many people describe nails on a chalkboard. Which, to me, that, that doesn't bother me nearly as much as it apparently bothers a lot of people. But that's, you know, I, I would equate that, probably. <coughs> so, uh, you know, naturally, uh, Stephen Crowder, I believe, you know, had some choice remarks to make about, you know, what a chicken shit move that was, and then he, you know, was like, okay, well, you know, you, Ethan Ralph, or whatever the fuck the dude's name is, uh, I don't know, is that the guy's name? I don't know. But the dude that he was supposed to be debating didn't want to debate him, he wanted to, you know, have a ringer or whatever, so it's like, okay, you don't want to do this, and fuck you, we're, we're done. <coughs> Which is absolutely the right thing to do under the circumstances. The appearances and the identities of other people. Now, uh, while talking about an in and out uh fast food restaurant in San Francisco, uh, essentially fighting back against San Francisco's vaccine mandate. Yes, which uh it, that good on them. Um, you know, go eat at an in and out burger if you if you have one in your area. Cuz uh if if they're prepared to actually, you know, not subject their customers to, you know, ridiculous papers please type bullshit, then they deserve support. He decided to comment on the appearance of a local reporter who was reporting on that story. So let's watch the video, see what he had to say. Uh, San Francisco in and out, they've been in a battle with the city over, uh, th let me just let them tell you the story of uh, vaccine requirements. Brian, right now, Ooh, this is war for Asian face. is okay, Easy. but only... Uh, looks kind of like, uh, looks a little bit like the, the actress that's playing the, the sister or whatever on Batwoman, doesn't it? Oh. YouTube channel member, executive producers, Xeno Dragon, the gay as fuck dragon. 
It is uh, a nice to be a skier. It'd be like a black diamond. You have to drop around. Dining <laughs> is unavailable at this time, and that's because the city's Department of Public Health said in and out is not complying with its health order to check for proof of that's vaccination true, for customers. Cameron, yes. It was not denying entry to those without proper documentation. Now, the city confirmed it closed this location temporarily last Thursday. In and out said the city that confirmed it that it closed a private business for not acting like the health for not acting like the FDA. It would not comply with what it called the requirement to act as the vaccination police. By the way, the reason I say is because usually with the reporters are like they're kind of Americanized Asians. That's a good thing. No, no, it's an it's a good thing. It's full Asian. That's a good thing. Um, I wish uh, she would have kept her fan. Yeah, you know. Uh, uh, be a geisha. Thing. Well, look, it looks, hot. It looks like it's uh, hot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but here's the I'm thing. I'm Wong Geisha. <laughs> All right, so the uh, reporter is from KPIX5, uh, CBS Television, and her name is Betty Yu. Jenk, I know you have strong feelings about this. Yeah. Go so the, um, I know right-wingers love to say, like, oh, offensive jokes are just jokes. Yes, because they are. <clears throat> Did uh, did Crowder or his uh, uh, co-host or whatever uh, Dave Landau, I believe, is his name? Um, did either one of them seem to be angry? Because that's usually a tip-off of you know, like if 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 something's coming genuinely from a place of hate, it's it's not told. You know, you don't say things in a light-hearted manner. You know, it's like I've been around some racist people, and it's like they tend to they tend to kind of make it clear that. That they're very mad. <laughs> they're very mad, you know, about the things that, uh, you know, the blacks are doing or, or, or a specific black person is doing, you know, as, you know, there was a lot of that with Obama, but anyway, but still it's like, you know, it, it's, you know, the, the anger is usually a, a dead giveaway that, yeah, you really actually don't like people because, you know, I mean, maybe for a number of reasons, but race is potentially one of those reasons but it's like you just say something in a very lighthearted sort of manner it's like yeah that doesn't really feel like it's coming from a place of hate it sounds like it's just a joke and so what are you guys getting upset about um uh well it, then i guess you probably don't mind if it goes both ways right uh so uh no they don't right wingers have stupid white faces really stupid white faces it's just a joke though. i'm just kidding around though i mean no see the thing is he probably isn't really kidding around but it doesn't bother me if if he even like seriously believes that white people have stupid faces i'm not bothered by that is anybody else bothered by that who cares <laughs> Oh, no, but it's a good thing, Jenk, because typically they do like half stupid faces. But yeah. it's really good to see that they allow themselves to do full stupid faces. Yeah, right? we're, we're saying positive things about their stupid. No, faces. no, no. Yeah, and if you and, and nobody is bothered by that, because we're not the thin skins here. You guys are. You're gonna go stupid uh, face, uh, stupid white face uh, as a right winger. That's perfect, right there. Full stupid white face. Super happy to see him. Uh, in I mean, it would be, it'd be more effective to you know to say that about uh, somebody who's, you know. M more bizarre looking than Steven Crowder, you know? I mean, not that he's, uh, you know, the most beautiful man around, but, uh, you know, he's 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 not ugly, you know? It's like he's not got, like, anything really bizarre going on particularly. So, you know. Racing his full stupidity. Yeah, so <laughs> when I see right-wingers, I, all I see is stupid white face, but of course I'm just kidding around. I'm kidding around, you guys are probably smart. I mean, uh, so here, like, let's show you another one uh, that, that might fit the bill here. See, there you go, there you go. There's a... Uh, now, I wouldn't uh, say that there's too much awful about the way that Tucker looks either, um, but some of the expressions that he makes, like this one here, it's like, eh, it, you know, it works, the, you know, the saying stupid white face thing, it works a little bit better with him, but, it, but still not great. Mm. I'm not sure uh, who you might go, go for to make it work better. I don't, you know, I don't really pay much attention to what people in in the political news uh, racket or you know look like but anyway stupid white face uh, because all right wingers have stupid white faces but, it would but i'm sure you could find one i'm sure you could find you know somebody who would fit the you know the joke or whatever better than either of their examples just kidding it's a stereotype it's a stereotype how dumb right wingers are but even joking around about stereotypes is no big deal because you all know you're neanderthals and we're just joking though we're just joking about how stupid you all are we're just joking so i know you don't mind okay so yeah and of course, uh, you know, spoiler, he's not joking. Like he really, you know, hates right wingers. And you know, because most right wingers, at least in America, are white, he he hates us. So anyway. um, the reason I do that, guys, is because they think a joke about your ethnicity and your face when you're different than white. They, I mean, if the person telling the joke is white, 
then they're probably not going to, and their audience is largely white or whatever, they're probably not going to, you know, do much in the way of talking about the uh, the race or ethnicity of a, of a white person when joking about how stupid they look. But they absolutely will joke about, you know, a white guy or something who has a really dumb-looking face. That happens. <laughs> so, I mean, it does. Come on. You know, I mean, uh, anybody who's paid attention to... Uh, <coughs> Um, Shane's streams, I'm sure, will have uh, uh, seen you know him uh, bring up videos from uh, what is it, Slap Mountain or whatever, and it's like they've got some, they got some really you know hillbilly <laughs> looking motherfuckers on that. It's like, and yes, it's like, you know, it's sometimes it's a face, and sometimes it's you know the giant gut and total lack of an ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird shape to people, but uh, yeah, it's like it, you know, it, it's white people don't have a problem with laughing at themselves. It's no big deal because it isn't about us. It's about you. We get to do these stereotypes about you, and you have no power. And then all of our stupid now, this is real. Our stupid, stupid viewers will think, oh yeah, Asians, <laughs> Asians. Look at their Asian face. What the hell does it? What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, well. Probably he was talking about how flat her face is because Asians do tend to have rather flat faces. Um, you know. And, hey, it's some Asian people believe that there are different facial features, including the, uh, including the almond eyes. What is that, uh, what is that called? The epicanthic fold or whatever? That little piece of skin that, that makes their eyes that shape? They consider that that's you know, some of them consider that that's a sign that they are the most highly evolved uh, subgroup of humans on the planet. So, you know, it, they consider that the aggressively Asian features or whatever would be a sign of being more highly evolved. And, you know, I again, it's like TYT, I'm sure, hates the idea of, of race and IQ or whatever, but that really is a thing, statistically speaking, and Asians are at the top. Not whites, Asians. Northeast Asians have the highest average IQs. So maybe there's something to that. He specifically said aggressively Asian face. Okay. <laughs> like, what, no, because what? to them, Asians are the other, right? Yeah, of course. And yeah. so what? No, 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 no. No, everyone, who, you know, everyone is the other to everyone else. It's, uh, what do you not get about that? It's like, yep, yeah, <laughs> I love that pause. It's, uh, but no, it's like to white people, yes, Asians are the other. But so are blacks and so is everybody else who's not white. And to Asians, everybody who's not Asian is the other. Actually, it's it's even worse than that, really, because they're, you know, I mean, it, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, relatively well-known uh, fact that the Japanese, the Koreans, and the Chinese all fucking hate each other. They're all highly racist towards one another. So it's like, to a number of people in the West, Asians just all kind of look alike. But they can tell the difference between each other, and they, they hate one another. They have long histories, and, and so on and so forth. And to a certain extent, it's like that in Europe. You know, hatred between the French and the Germans, and so on and so forth, goes back a long, long way. And what the hell is the cat up to over there? Crawling on top of something. Anyway, um, but yeah, I mean... And, and there is, of course, you know touched on I think of I think I've mentioned it before but um, uh, the the left parrots uh, this idea that you do get from the KKK or whatever uh, you know from people like that um, about sort of like generic whiteness and that's a thing in the new world but it really isn't in Europe there's not generic whiteness there's you know it's like your race is, is the same, you know, synonymous essentially with your uh, nationality. You know, there is such a thing as the Irish race, as the English race, as the French race, as the German race. So, anyway, a lot of people mistake that. It's, it's like, I guess, thinking that everybody in Africa is just generically African rather than being whatever their specific heritage is. <laughs> it's like, you know, like, no, they, you know, they're different. Anyway. <clears throat> white is normal, but like, oh, wow, you look really Asian. That well, yeah, I mean, white people look normal to white people. And, you know, presumably, you know, every group has their own norm. And every group considers that 
people not of their group are the other. They are foreigners. They are aliens. If they're in your country illegally, they're illegal aliens. That is the correct terminology. I don't know. The the left is just woefully ignorant of, of so many, you know, basic things. That's even worse. That's even, but he says, of course, he realizes he stepped in it, and he needs plausible deniability. So he says, oh, it's a good... D does he? Does it, did he really? I don't know. Thing. It's a good thing to go full Asian. I don't know if you know this. Asians are full Asian. Well, only if they're full-blooded Asian. I mean, your wife is Asian. She interbred with you. Your kids are part Asian, but they're also part Turk. And it is Turk because you're from Turkey. They're not part Muslim because you're not a Muslim. He says that a lot. He's, he often talks about him being Muslim as though it's a race. Muslim is not a race. Musler, Muslims are followers of Islam, which is a religion. Uh, well, it's also a political ideology, but we won't get into that in this video. Um, but <laughs> it's like your, your children are mixed. They're not full-blooded Asian, assuming that you're... I don't know anything about his wife other than she is Asian. But, and he says his kids are Asian. It's like, well, they're part Asian. And your wife might be full-blood Asian, or she might be part Asian, too. I don't know. But the you know the, the idea that it's like everybody with a drop of, I mean who's the racist now everybody with a drop of Asian blood is full Asian it's like no they're not but whatever so they're not going full Asian they are Asian like as if like oh okay we'll let you go ahead go ahead go full Asian go ahead all right oh well thank you for your goddamn permission right so the hell is he even talking about <laughs> that's I mean that, that's kind of a non sequitur there but whatever he he doesn't know what he's talking about really not usually anyway look. Um, and then he said something about her face being a black diamond. I, uh, I don't know. What I don't know if he, that's like some racist trope about uh, the yeah about the flatness of the face. Of course it is. God. But it, it her her face is flat, you know, at least compared with yours and mine and many other people's. It, it's fairly flat. It's not something to get upset over. It's just an observation about a you know a reality. Damn it, you guys are so racist. So let's just like my main <laughs> request of right wingers and their stupid white faces. Just kidding. Uh, is he's not kidding? Just own up to your racism. It's not a big deal. But that's the thing, Chink. We're not racist. See, in order for in order for us to be racist, like our our jokes would have to come from a place of hatred, and they don't. Like we don't make jokes about people's appearances because we hate those people. I mean, sometimes we might, but generally speaking, if we do, it's not because we hate an entire group of people. It's because we hate one specific example, like. People who make jokes about you, perhaps, actually hate you because you're a piece of shit. But, you know, for the record, I don't hate him because that just takes too much energy. But I don't like him. Um, you know, I'm sad to say that I used to watch him regularly. It's like when I was a leftist, I watched TYT all the time. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> enough about enough about my, my shameful past. Um, but, you know... The, the left doesn't seem to ever understand that you can make quote-unquote racist jokes and, and, and say things that, that sound really bad, but, you know, in order for it to truly be, like, racist and, and hateful, hate speech, whatever, you know, it's like, which, you know, hate speech is protected speech, by the way, anyway, but regardless... For it to really be that, though, it has to come from a place of hatred. You have to actually have, you know, really nasty feelings about these people. And most people who make those kind of jokes don't have those feelings. You know, we just don't. But, 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 you know, they, they just can't reconcile these things. Which is funny, because you'd think that leftists would be really used to mental gymnastics. You know, because of all the all the conflicting ideas they have to believe in in order to continue to be leftists. Hey guys, we're not taking your speech rights away. No, but I'm not saying take Crowder off of YouTube. I'm you really want him gone, though, you motherfucker, you lying ass. You want everybody who disagrees with you silenced. You really do. You're just like all the other leftists. All the, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, on the one hand, he ex occasionally deviates from the establishment position, but regardless, ultimately, he will always side with the neoliberal establishment or whatever against anybody who's even moderately right-wing. I don't know if others are, but I'm not saying it. He gets to be stupid whiteface all day long, okay? But just say, look, okay, guys, we don't like Asians. We think they're hot. They look funny. They look funny. But that's the thing. 
he he doesn't dislike Asians. He doesn't have anything against Asians. He he has a half Asian lawyer who he like you know who he likes just fine. He doesn't have anything against Asians. I know you want him to. You want that to be the truth, but it's not. Crowder is not racist. You know, you you really would like for him to be. You really want everyone to believe he is, but he's not. And not just him, like most people on the right, not racist. Sorry. There's a lot of demand on the left for racism, but there's just so little supply of it from the right. <laughs> We're just not supplying them with all the racism that they desperately wish was uh, around so that they could be mad about it. Funny! Because they're not us, so they look funny. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, good. Then uh, people who are us look funny too, dude. Jesus. You know, get, get a sense of humor, for fuck's sake. You're a racist, then it's okay. It's okay. You just say you're a racist, and let's move on, okay? But we're not. We're not going to give in to your demands that we, you know, play into your lie about us. You you wish us to be racist, but we're not. And we're not going to oblige you by, you know, by agreeing with your lie about us, your defamatory statements about us. Fuck you. But don't come here and tell us that Asians look funny with their aggressively Asian face. Not all of them. Just some of them. And that reporter, sorry, you know, that's a genetic lottery thing. It's not my fault. She, you know, she looked kind of funny. And then tell us that you're not racist. That's the definition of racism. Ha <laughs> ha, look at how they look. No, it's not. That's not, that's literally not the definition of racism. <laughs> you dickbag. God. Are you kidding me? And then, it, what, it, of course, it always gets worse. Because this stupid sideshow Bob, I don't know his name at all. Dave Landau. She comes in with, oh, she's like a gay show. The only thing that's missing is the fan. Okay, now geishas are not prostitutes, but an American stereotype. No, but uh, I mean, they are, well, I mean, geishas, as far as I'm aware, are, are fairly renowned for their beauty, so, you know, don't know, I mean, almost sounded like he was sort of trying to, I mean, still trying to be funny, but, you know, potentially also paying her a compliment in a way. Stereotypes. They are... And dumb right wingers have characterized geisha, geishas as Asian prostitutes. Mm -hmm. and so well, some people characterize them that way, yes. But so their what their immediate reference to a reporter. Some some people, um, by the way, even in uh, Japan, I believe, have a negative view of geishas, and they they kind of feel like when when they learn that their daughter wants to be a geisha, they're like, oh, that's you know, you know, I I feel you know bad that my daughter wants to be that. It's like I don't I don't like that. You know, because even they, you know, have somewhat of a misconception of, of what it means. Anyway. Is, oh, she's Asian, so she must be a prostitute. No. Well, there are a lot of Asian prostitutes. Of course, there are a lot of Asians, so anyway. <laughs> but, uh, you know, no, it's much more likely that you would look at that woman and say, oh, she's a reporter, therefore she's a whore. Because there's plenty of whores in the fucking media. Like... That would definitely make me think somebody's a whore way before, you know, them being Asian makes me think they're a whore. Just saying. Ah, uh, no, you racist piece of craps. I don't care how much you cry. I want you to cry all night tonight, okay? Nobody's crying, except possibly you. But you are definitely racist. You are a hate... No, we're not. And Steven Crowder is not. Sorry. Just, just, just isn't so. ...full person who does not care about other human beings at all... I think, uh, you know, there's, I mean, I'm not going to go into it, but I'm sure that there's plenty of statistics and whatnot that you could look up that would show that, on average, right-wingers care more about other human beings than left-wingers really do. And they certainly do. I mean, you know, right-wingers are more likely to, you know, consider individual liberty, uh, whereas the leftists, of course, being collectivists, they're all about... We need to save the planet from, you know, like climate change. Well, how do we do that? Well, you know, we stamp out personal liberty and we make sure that people must be carbon neutral or some shit like that. And it's like, yeah, you know, it's like they desperately want to run everybody else's lives because, you know, because uh, they, they think they know what's best. And of course they don't. You're maniacally obsessed with your racism. White, white, white is good. White, oh, Asians are different. Blacks are different. Mexicans are different. Muslims are different. Everybody is different. That, what the fuck? What is it? You know, it's like he, I mean, you could make, I mean, it's it wouldn't, it still wouldn't be accurate or, you know, 
particularly honest, but you could make a much more convincing argument than than that, you know, than he's managing here uh, for thinking that white people are racist. But, you know, he's not even, he can't even manage that. It's like, it's just, oh, well, black people are different. Or Asians are different. It's like, no shit they are. Of course they are. Everybody's different. <laughs> My God. Muslims are violent. Asians have flat faces. And are they do. You know, and I think he just said that black people are violent. Um, that, well, I mean, on average, I think that that uh, seems to be backed up by statistics. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, but, it, you know, just got to figure out ways to deal with that rather than, you know, try to pretend that it's not a thing. <laughs> it's like, it's like, this is like, this is like the leftist, uh, you know, the leftist idea of how to deal with, you know, any differences that actually exist between different groups of people is, you know, stick your fingers in yours and, and hum really loudly and pretend it's not a, you know, pretend it's not a problem. <laughs> Like, that's no way to go through life. And this, and the blacks are stupid and violent. Why do you think we can't stand you? We can't stand you because you hate us and we're tired of you. We don't hate you. It's very clear you hate us, but we don't hate you, dude. We don't. We just know that you're wrong about fuck near everything. You're hating us. We're exhausted from it. <laughs> <laughs> You have no one to blame but yourself about that. So my wife is Asian. I'm Muslim. All You're not Muslim. You're an atheist. You've made that abundantly clear. Stop claiming Muslim identity. It doesn't belong to you. You do not worship Allah. Fuck you. You are a non-believer. We've ever gotten is right-wing hate. Okay, so what do they say about Muslims all the time? Oh, they're violent. They're violent. No, you... you well, I mean, the jihadis are violent. <laughs> <laughs> of course, most of that violence is visited upon the other Muslims. So, anyway. You guys, you guys as a right-wing whites, it is a fact. You did the Holocaust. Lie. Lie, motherfucker. First of all, um, the Holocaust was committed by the Nazis. Um, who were, you know, again, Nazi. You know, that's a short form of National Socialist German Workers' Party. So they were not generically white. They were specifically Germans. And they were not right-wing. They were left-wing. They were socialists. They were collectivist scumbags. Nazi, you know, and, and this is one thing that does bother me sometimes about uh, Hard Bastard's uh, chat. It seems to be filled with a lot of people who, as near as I can tell, unironically uh, believe that the Nazis were the good guys. I guess it's because of, you know, Mazionist conspiracy theory and all that bullshit. Um, but it's like they, they talk about, you know, the Nazis as though they were, they were, you know, great people or something. It's like, are you fucking out of your minds, guys? I mean, are you really that goddamn stupid? The, the, the socialists may have been not quite as bad as the commies, but they're still collectivist shitbags. They're still leftists. They're still tyrannical maniacs that should never be allowed to take power in your country. So... All Marxists, all Marxists are evil. You did World War I, you did World War II, you did the Crusades. No. <clears throat> World War I, World War II. Again, World War I was, uh, it was just a, uh, it, it was a snowball. It was, it was, you know, just things got out of control because it's, it's too, you know. There was the assassination of the Archduke and all that bullshit. It's just, you know, it just, you know, it it was a bad setup or whatever, and then World War Two. You could blame America for World War Two in a way because we shouldn't have gotten involved in World War One, because the, I mean, you know, World War One. Obviously, it's a that that led to uh, you know the revolution in Russia, and that was obviously a bad thing later on. And um, um, but when thing that might have happened if America had not joined in with, with you know, with the British in going up against the, the Germans is that, Germ you know, the both sides, you know, if left to the, you know, if the European, you know, uh, <coughs> uh, parties involved 
had simply fought themselves to exhaustion, then they might have all kind of, you know, just called it a day and gone home and been like, yeah, war is too fucking expensive and ridiculous, guys. Let's let's not do that again. But instead, America came in and, you know, kind of forced, you know, with you know, with weight of numbers and whatnot, kind of helped force the 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 Germans to capitulate, and then they had to, uh, you know, then you had the the what was it was it the Treaty of Versailles or whatever whichever treaty the fuck it was that you know meant that they had you know uh, an enormous uh, you know debt that they had to pay, and it led to you know hyperinflation and whatnot, and you know directly led into the rise of Hitler and the Nazis, um, so. <laughs> It's because of the reparations that you know that 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 brought us Nazi Germany in the first place. But anyway, um, and as f- and uh, so again, it's like you know we did. I mean, I guess in a way you could say that yes, the the two world wars were fought uh, primarily by Europeans and therefore primarily by white people. But it's like a- as though. We're all just decided that we're gonna, you know, we're gonna kill a whole bunch of people and, you know, a whole bunch, a whole bunch of each other, you know, because it's fun. No, it's like that's ridiculous. <clears throat> and of course, you know, the whole thing about the the Holocaust. It's like again, that's the Nazis. That's not. <clears throat> and I will say this: um, many people, you know, act like it's it's unquestionable that exactly six million Jews were killed or whatever in the Holocaust and it's un, you know and and you can't question that number and you can't question exactly how it all went down and it's like i think the reality the sad reality is that probably a lot fewer died because the nazis specifically executed them um than history tends to record i suspect a lot of them starved to death because the allies were bombing the shit out of Germany and destroying their infrastructure and possibly made it impossible for the Germans to uh, to be able to provide food to all their prisoners. So probably the Allied bombing campaigns, um, you know, probably led to the starvation of, of a huge number. I don't know what it would be. I don't know how many figures it would be. You know, and I'm not saying that it's the majority either. I'm just saying... An, an awful lot of Jews that were in the camps probably died of starvation because of just the crippling of the German infrastructure and and the you know the war, the deprivations of the war that was going on, and a lot of people would be that well then we should blame America and the Allies for it's like it's war people fucking die that's why we should avoid war if we can manage to do so because a lot of fucking people die. In modern times, we tend to think of war as something that's you know relatively sanitary that takes place someplace else and and doesn't really have any visible costs. It's like it had massive fucking costs back then. Anyway, and as far as the Crusades, this is another thing that the leftists always bring up. They always bring up the Crusades as though the Crusades was you know evil white people from Europe going to the Middle East or wherever and massacring uh, the the people who'd always lived there. And we're just different than them. Like, that's the leftist perspective, you know, their ignorant-ass perspective on what the Crusades were. The Crusades, of course, in reality, were a series of counterattacks against centuries of unrelenting Muslim aggression against Christians. The You know, Christians used to control the Middle East, and then the Muslims, you know, Muhammad got his followers and convinced them to follow his religion, which is also kind of a political ideology and made him a warlord and you know they followed that example even after his death and you just had century after century of the muslims massacring the christians and driving them out of the middle east and then you know conquering uh you know spain at one point and uh, you know just launching endless uh, attacks raids taking slaves etc cetera, etc cetera in uh, Christian Europe as far north as Russia, you know, and the Crusades were, by comparison, smaller in number and more limited in scope, and they were simply counterattacks that, to a certain extent, stemmed the tide of Muslim aggression. That's the truth about the Crusades in in very, in a very brief uh, description, and it's like, I remember being over at a friend, a friend's house for Christmas, and of course, 
this was not too long after I'd been red-pilled and had recently learned, you know, the truth about the Crusades. Um, and I don't remember what was being discussed. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's a, an atheist, even though he celebrates Christmas, of course. Um, but somehow the subject of probably Muslim aggression or something, you know, cropped up in conversation. And he said, but the Crusades, though. And it was very clear from the way that he said it to me that he didn't have a fucking clue about the Crusades. He didn't know anything about them. He just knew that he'd been taught by other leftists or other atheists or whatever that the way you shut a Christian up, you know, when they talk about, you know, religion or, 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 or you know, or jihad or anything like that is just mention the Crusades and that shuts them right the hell up. And it's like, yeah, it's effective as long as the Christian in question doesn't know a goddamn thing about the Crusades. But in response to him saying that, you know, I said, what about them? And it was clear he didn't know anything about them. He had nothing. He had nothing to say. It's like you could tell. You could tell by the way that he had nothing to say in response to, to, to me saying what about them and the look on his face that he didn't know a fucking thing. He just knew that I'm supposed to say, but the Crusades, and then you shut up. <laughs> and then I, you know, informed him as to what, you know, the Crusades were really like. And, uh, you know, he didn't accept that what I had told him was accurate, but he did at least recognize that he didn't have any way to uh, come back at me. And so he said he'd look into it. <laughs> so, anyway, there you go. You did the oppression and the subjugation of the entire southern hemisphere, so don't come to I'm not entirely sure what he's talking about. I assume he's talking about, you know, colonialism from, you know, from European powers. And, uh, you know, honestly, it, uh, you know, it was bad in some ways and potentially good in other ways. I mean, obviously not good if you were one of the people that got killed, but then again... If you weren't among those who got killed, then, uh, you know, the, the ultimate outcome was a, a, you know, somewhat nicer place to live. <laughs> of course, it'll it'll soon be destroyed. And, and, you know, it's funny, you know, it's like you, you hear um, asshole, uh, you know, Hollywood stars or whatever talk about how, uh, oh, well, you know, I'm going to move to Africa. You know, it's like they're black, you know, it's a it's a black you know, Hollywood star, and they're a millionaire or whatever, but, you know, they're like, oh, I'm going to move to Africa, and it's like, oh, which part of Africa? South Africa. Oh. You mean the place that no one could, you know, that couldn't support hardly any population because the natives couldn't farm the land worth a shit. But then white farmers with superior knowledge and techniques came and managed to farm the land and built up a, you know, a nice civilization there, and you want to pretend like all of that was, like, stolen from the blacks and, and, and they could have had all that themselves you know, without white people. And it's like, no, they couldn't. They couldn't. And it's going to go right back to, you know, starvation because the black government, now that, now that the blacks are in control of the government, they're massacring the white farmers and turning their land over to their cronies who don't know a goddamn thing about farming you know, so that they can just relax and be gentlemen farmers, except they don't know how to farm. And so, yeah, it's not going to be pretty. But anyway, it's not pretty now. It's going to be even less pretty eventually. But anyway. Tell on any other race who's violent and who is not violent. Don't come to us with any of your stupid, stupid racism. Now, my kids are Asian. No, we're not coming to you with racism. You're the racist here. Yeah. Some people say, oh, you know, don't say that the left are the real racists. That's such basic bitch shit. And that's like, yeah, but it's still true. <laughs> it's still true, and apparently it still needs to be pointed out because not everybody seems to have got the, the, the memo on that one yet. You going to say something about their face? Yeah, he will. Okay. Well, they do. We haven't seen your children. I mean, if you're wise, you keep them off the fucking air, you know? You probably, you know, I mean, I don't know. He's not wise, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But if you were wise, you would keep them, you know, under wraps, as it were, because you're a public figure. You know, you attract a lot of attention. It's probably not good for your kids to to be known as, as belonging to you. Because, yes, there are assholes out there who will target them because of that. 
uh, you know, no one should target anyone's kids or, or family, by the way, for, you know, for something, you know, you target only the asshole who has said, you know, the bad things for, you know, because they're the only one responsible for their actions. Anyway, but, <laughs> like, I haven't seen his kids' faces, so I don't know whether they look funny or not. You know, I would, I would, you know, if I would hazard a guess that while they may not be the most attractive children because they belong to him and he's not very attractive, frankly, um, they're probably not anything uh, particularly bizarre looking. So, you know, probably if you ju- if you didn't know that they were his kids, you know, I think I think probably most people would be like, yeah, it's just some kids. <laughs> so Ooh, they do because they don't think we're human. They don't care about us. Wrong, wrong, absolutely wrong. You, you know, you're the one who goes out of your way to try to dehumanize the right. To, to paint us, just as you're doing right now, as evil racists who've done all these horrible things, even though basically everything you've said is a goddamn lie. Or at the very least, you know, if you weren't knowingly lying, you're grossly mistaken about things. Oh, I'm, I'm hurting your kids? Who cares they're Asian, right? When, I mean... You're the one who brought your kids up. It's like nobody nobody brought kids into this except you. What are you talking about? Well, I don't care about you. I don't care about It's very clear that you don't care about us, and we don't care about you. And, you know, that's reasonable, don't you think? About you, okay? I think you're a terrible person. So, Stephen Crowder, you're not funny. It's not a joke. Um, well, I mean, funny is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose, just like beauty. And, uh, you know... I think he's uh, he's moderately funny. I mean, he's not hilarious or anything. Dave Landau is funnier than than Stephen Crowder, but still, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, they're reasonably funny at times. Some of the jokes land, some of them don't. It's not a joke. There's plenty of Asian comedians that make plenty of jokes about Asians. So you have to be Asian to joke about Asians, and I guess you have to be gay to joke about gays, and you have to be, well, I'd say Muslim to joke about Muslims. But I'm sure he's told some Muslim jokes, and he's not a Muslim. He's an atheist. Um. And I know that he's said plenty of offensive things about Christians. That's one of the things that really uh, really kind of annoyed me back when I was listening to him, because I've always been a Christian, even though I was a leftist. And he always had terrible things to say about anyone who believed in a, in a higher power. He believes that we're all stupid and assholes and so on and so forth. So, <sighs> Anyway, but that's just utterly ridiculous to suggest that you know only members of a group can joke about that group. Fuck you. We can joke about whoever the hell we want. It's not, nobody's banning jokes about Asians. It isn't a joke. You're just saying, ha ha, look at her face. We don't like Asian faces. He did, did he say he didn't like Asian faces? And, you know, don't think so. And, you know, there's plenty of attractive Asians. I, you know, frankly, I would not have classified that reporter as, as an attractive Asian. You know, I wouldn't have said she's super ugly or nothing, but, you know, she's not, like, super attractive either. So. That's because you're a goddamn racist. And- no. No, he's not a racist uh, of the people involved in this conversation. You are far more racist than Steven Crowder. Your stupid sidekick is the most racist person I've ever seen. <laughs> Picking on poor little Dave Landau. God. And, and there's, a, there's some racism that you definitely get from the left is, is against uh, gingers. I mean, it goes beyond that, though. Like, I, I, I've gotten past allowing them to get under my skin. Oh, really? (laughs) Because when you really take a look at Steve Crowder, I mean, the guy had to go on leave after he was humiliated by Sam Cedar on his... And another lie, because no, he didn't go on leave because, oh, he's humiliated by... You know, fuck Sam Cedar. He's a piece of shit. He's a fucking piece of shit. And no, that is not why he went on leave. He went on leave because... I don't know, there's something fucked up about his rib cage or whatever. So he had to have surgery for God's sake. He almost died. You know? Fuck you, you stupid cunt. You lying bitch. His own show. The poor boy was hospitalized. Oh, okay. Jesus. Yes. But not because of Sam fucking Cedar. He had a medical condition that he needed surgery to correct. You stupid bitch. God damn. Fucking lying sacks of shit. He's, you want to talk about stupid? He's a guy who wears a gun holster on his show. <laughs> his show is sponsored by a gun company. Of course he's going to showcase their products. What the fuck is the matter with you? Pathetic. How he, small is your penis? No, Jesus but, Christ. No, what is it? By the way, what is it with... I mean, there's a lot of people 
who seem to uh, want to make that ridiculous conflation, suggesting that the only reason for anyone, any uh, man, I guess, to want a gun is because they have a small dick. It's like, what? That it does it. It's got nothing, to, you know, the one has nothing to do with the other. Nothing at all. I mean, if you're, you know, a large, you know, doesn't have to be a large penis, but if you're a large-bodied man and reasonably fit, then you can, you know, be reasonably confident in being able to fight off one unarmed attacker. But multiple unarmed attackers, not necessarily. And armed attackers... Definitely not. You know, definitely not multiple armed attackers. So, I'm sorry, but, you know, having a gun is a perfectly reasonable thing. I, <laughs> you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just like all the other stupid things that left to say, you know, like claiming that, um, you know, the, the purpose of firearms is just for hunting. It's like, no, it's for self-defense. That's always been the purpose. You know, hunting is a secondary, you know, purpose. Primary purpose, self-defense. Uh, and, of course, they believe erroneously that there's no way that you could possibly overthrow a government with your you know, your AR-15 or whatever. And it's like, uh, well, not alone. You're right about that. If the government becomes tyrannical and we have to overthrow it, it's going to take a large-scale uprising. But that large-scale uprising will need to be armed. You know? And, yeah, we may only have rifles, and they may have drones and tanks and shit, but... It doesn't matter because if there's enough of you, you can, you know, take down their infrastructure, their fuel depots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can capture their, you know, the military's weapons and use them against them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, like I said, I, I've said this before. I don't remember what the number is. It's really small. I want to say like five percent. If you can get five, per, it might even be less than that. But if you can get five percent of the population motivated to overthrow a government, then whatever country that is throughout human history, the government has never survived. If you've got 5% or so, you know, pissed off enough to take up arms against the government, the government falls. Every time. It's just not possible for, you know, for it to survive. Th those kind of numbers. So, you know, anyway. Um, you know, and then of course, you know, the leftists also say stupid things like, if, you know, if you take this uh, AR-15 that's a semi-automatic and you remove the firing pin, then it becomes fully automatic. And it's like, no dipshit. If you remove the firing pin, the gun ceases to function. Like, but seriously, just think about this for a second, because in <coughs> insulting things about various minorities, he gives the impression that he thinks he's better than other people. But really think. Of Holy fucking shit. Anna, I'm fucking better than you. That's a direct quote. Kasparian. <laughs> It's making that, oh, I can say, holy shit. About what Steven Crowder thinks about himself, right? He's a deeply insecure little boy who's... How do you know that? Seriously, how do you know that? You know, have, have you know, has he been uh, to a psychiatrist or whatever and you've gotten a hold of his medical records, which would be illegal? Um, you know, how do you know? How do you know? Still has his father calling the shots in his own personal life. I'm not aware of that, uh happening in what he can and can't do in his own career it's real sad does anybody have any clue what the fuck she's talking about i'm not aware of, of crowder's father telling him what he can and cannot do in his career he clearly enjoys dressing like a woman which i don't think there's anything wrong with she doesn't think there's anything wrong with it as long as whoever does it agrees with her politically but if you disagree with her politically and you dress like a woman then she's going to make fun of you for it uh, but he'll, he'll find, like, ridiculous excuses to do it. And at the same time, like, everything he does, it's, it's just spewing out of it. Like, you could see it. Just desperately trying to appease his daddy. I've never noticed that. What? <laughs> what is she basing that on? Boy's got daddy issues. He's deeply insecure. He thinks that lifting weights is going to make people think that he's, like, a tough guy. But he doesn't carry... Uh, hasn't he done some videos of him at the gym where... He, like, you know, pussies out during weightlifting, like, really quickly. Like, I don't, I don't think he's doing that because he's trying to look like a tough guy. Himself is a tough guy or a secure guy or anyone to admire. You have to be, I mean, I think you have to be relatively secure to be a, a dude and, and, you know, fucking wear a dress in public in front of people. You know, it's generally considered to be, uh, you know... <laughs> 
to be a humiliating thing to do. It's like, so if you can do that repeatedly and you're not bothered by it, it's like, yeah, I think you're fairly secure. In any way, shape or form. He's sad. He's pathetic. He embarrassed himself time and time again. And he'll continue to do it. So I see his commentary about other people as an attempt to deflect from the fact that he's a small person and he will remain. Uh, he's very specifically not a small person, by the way. He's, he's pretty big. He's a pretty, pretty large person. He's a small person because he has no interest in improving himself or standing up for himself or, you know, doing more for society other than trying to conceal the fact. Doing more for society. That, I mean, look, OK, admittedly, Crowder is conservative ink and I don't really like conservative ink. But at the same time, he's one of the best, you know, members of conservative ink, you know. One of the most based out of out of you know that pack of dickless, feckless fuckwads, um, but it, yeah, <laughs> like he's doing a great service by pointing out your ridiculous lies on the left. I mean, that it, it's hard to do better than that currently for society. Of course, being a leftist, she believes that. I don't know. I don't know what she believes. Believes that he should be anti-gun lobby, I guess, and you know that that's somehow going to help people. It's like, yeah, help pe help women get raped, you know, by by making it to where they can't buy a gun to defend themselves. Sure. That he he's just a sad guy. Okay. No, I'm done appeasing the right wing in terms of like it, it, we we never appease. I was fixing to say it's like <laughs> since since when were you appeasing the right? Fuck what? Them right, but you the media gets mad at us when we call them stupid, and other people get mad at us. When we Do they? I mean, they're mostly doing the same thing now. Did they do that before? Maybe. I don't know. We call them stupid. And so that's what I mean. I'm done with it. Look, you guys are less intelligent than us. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, my God. Who's bigoted? Who? Remind me. If you think that people act certain ways because of their race. Um, well, again, it's like. There are certain statistical realities that do seem to follow racial lines. But ignoring that is not a solution. Trying to figure out why that is and and find some way to, uh, you know, you know, to change that maybe, to improve everybody. I mean, I'm not suggesting through, you know, genetic engineering. I'm against that shit, but, <laughs> you know. But, you know, if you can find some uh, some natural, uh, shall we say, way to do it, you know. And you think that, oh, I'll make other people laugh at others for their face, for their ethnicity, for their race, etc. Again, just the, the completely wrong-headed assumption that, you know, the joke is proceeding from a place of hatred. But, but it isn't. It's just, you know, it's just a joke. I don't know. And you yeah. think that that's actually how humans behave? Oh, white people. It is how humans behave. You know, this is another symptom of leftists growing up in these extremely sanitized environments in in first world countries. And, and they fail to understand that, yes, that is how people behave. People behave that way and worse all over the goddamn world and always have. You know, the place where you are safest is in the civilization built largely by white people. Just saying. People are smart and, and black people. You've worked really hard to undermine it and get it to fall, and it's about to fall, and you're not going to like the world that you've made. You're not. Oh, boy. They're going to be in such deep shit. It's going to be funny, you know, assuming that uh, the lights stay on and we get to see the leftists panicking about everything going completely to shit. It will be funny to watch. People are dumb and all these other stereotypes you have and Asian people do this and this and, and all the other stereotypes you have. Stereotypes exist for a reason, dumbass. Those stereotypes are literally unintelligent. No. <clears throat> stereotypes are a real thing. It's 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 not that everyone fits it, you know. Not every Asian fits into you know, I don't know, insert Asian stereotype here, but a lot of them do. Enough of them do for it to have become a stereotype in the first place. That's how that works. 
You no, know, nobody just like invented these things. Like just you know, just pulled it out of their ass, and it's like, oh, this is the the stereotype that will stick on these people. It's like, no, you observe those people, and you see certain common traits, and you put those together, and that becomes a stereotype. That that it's it's from observation. It's not it's not just something you know in, in, in you know invented from nothing. It is the it's the refuge of people who are not bright. So no, that is not. Not the case at all. So they can't tell. They, they're confused. They're lost in a world. And they're like, I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm <laughs> oh, what, what is this ridiculous thing that he does here? I'm blind. I'm blind. Is it God? Is it this? Is it race? I don't know. I don't know anything. I well, the, like I said, the, like, the difference between race and IQ and whatnot. It's like, that's, that's science. It's like, that's based on actual analyses of things. And you're pretending like... No, that's just somebody pulling that out of their ass. And it's not. It's not. So, yeah. I'm so stupid! Oh, I know, I'll say it's race! And when... It, <laughs> if it appears to be, then, you know, it, it, it. there's no point hiding from it. Crowder says it and Tucker Carlson says it. If you can back it up with statistics, there's no point pretending that that's not a thing. And every right-wing commentator is a racist. Everyone... No, they're not. So you know, the problem here is he's not talking about stereotypes. He's talking about caricatures. Caricatures is where you, you, you know, take little things and you exaggerate them ridiculously uh, to build a caricature, you know, and it's it's meant to be ridiculous and over the top. Stereotypes are, as I said, it's like that's based on observation of of common traits of for, you know. <laughs> of you know any, any you know take any group of people and and look for common traits and you find the common traits and that's that's you know that's how you get a stereotype one of them i've never seen them not be racist and all their fans are like yes yes racism it's so funny well that is other than being hateful it is except they're not hateful it's like you know again every fucking thing that he claims is is hate or whatever that's not what it is you know i mean i'm not saying that that never happens of course it does sometimes but it's very rare Especially, you know, it's <laughs> although it's not rare from him, I suppose. So, you know, like everything, I guess it's projection. It's literally unintelligent. And if you want to cry about that, this is when I invite you. Nobody's crying. Except you, I guess. You're the closest here to losing your shit over this. N none of us are crying. To cry all day and all night long. I don't care about your stupid little racist feelings. You're stupid. Done. Yep. Ah. Again, projection. It's like, stupid. No, no, that would be you. That would be you, dipshit. Anyway, yeah, I thought that that was uh, funny and ridiculous and whatnot, and I can't believe that um, uh, there was so much to say on a 10-minute video that it became an hour-long video. Oh, I really didn't mean for that to happen. Sorry. But anyway... <laughs> All right, until the next one.